You might have heard that Ethereum is merging the Beacon Chain into Mainnet. This is happening because Ethereum is a second-generation blockchain for which the consensus mechanism was voted to be upgraded from proof-of-work to proof-of-stake by the community. So, what does it mean? Ethereum is the first programmable blockchain. It was built on the concept of open economy, open access to digital money and data, accessible to everyone. Because it's programmable, Ethereum is considered the infrastructure for the Internet of Value. As with any blockchain, it is a decentralized system, a peer-to-peer -peer network of computers used to perform value transactions over the Internet. It uses a consensus mechanism, the algorithm that validates the transactions, called proof-of-work. Proof-of-work is a computer-heavy method in which complex mathematical problems are used to ensure transactions are valid and secure, as it will require a massive computational power to hack the network, which is called the 51% attack. The computer node that finally resolves these complex mathematical problems is rewarded with ETH and gets to write the new block. In proof-of-work, the validation is usually called mining, as it requires a lot of work to obtain the reward for that work, borrowing the concept and the vocabulary in the gold mining industry. Because proof-of-work is computer-heavy, it uses a lot of electricity, like Bitcoin, but not as much. So the Ethereum community approved a change from proof-of-work to proof-of-stake. Proof-of-stake is another method to validate and secure the network and the transactions, but instead of relying on computing power, it gives the validating computers the opportunity to back their validation by staking, depositing some ETH, Ethereum's native cryptocurrency, against dishonest behavior, thus protecting the network. Miners will no longer mine, but will be selected for validation by staking their ETH on the node client. The more ETH that's at stake, the bigger is the probability of the node to be selected. When a new block is validated, the node receives the corresponding block reward. Into the merge. What is the beacon chain? The beacon chain is a parallel Ethereum chain running on proof of stake since December of 2020 with two major goals. Proving the viability of running Ethereum on proof of stake and estimating the energy consumption of Ethereum when doing so. The current projection is that proof of stake Ethereum will consume 99.95% less power to run than the proof of work Ethereum while keeping the same levels of security. The process of upgrading Ethereum is called the merge because how the process is going to take place. The beacon chain will be merged into the Ethereum mainnet, the current Ethereum blockchain, and will become its consensus layer. Ethereum then will have two layers, the transaction execution layer, formerly known as ETH1, and the consensus layer, formerly known as ETH2. To observers, Ethereum will perform exactly the same with reduced energy consumption and ETH holders and smart contracts running in the execution layer will not be affected. Only nodes and validators need to worry about upgrading their client software, as this is also known as a hard fork, where old software won't work with the new consensus. Daily ETH issuance, the process that creates ETH that didn't exist, will be reduced in 90%, as the proof-of-work mining rewards currently issued at 13,000 ETH per day cease to exist, and only the staking rewards will remain, which is around 1,600 ETH per day. With the estimated ETH burning rate at the same 1,600 ETH per day, ETH becomes, in fact, a deflationary asset. The Ethereum core development team can now focus on new features, such as the shards and the overall upgrade for Ethereum for more scalability. The merge is phase zero of the Ethereum upgrade, and it's specifically aimed at replacing proof-of-work by proof-of-stake, so developers, users, and the overall community should not expect more than that. It will not reduce gas fees, it will not improve performance, it will not introduce shards or other scalability features, it will not allow for stakers to withdraw their ETH. That will come with the next upgrade called Shanghai. At a pre-selected 
total difficulty level, which determines the point in time in the block when the merge will happen, the validators will stop mining proof of work, and a validator will then be selected at random based on their state ETH, and will write the first new block in the consensus layer. From that point on, every block will be written as such, effectively turning Ethereum into a proof of stake blockchain. Ethereum core development team never actually gave a set date for the merge, mainly because it's really hard to predict when all of the bugs will be fully resolved for the multitude of use cases that Ethereum supports. Because Ethereum is a widely used blockchain with a market cap of over $130 billion and a whole industry using it as its core infrastructure, any major upgrade like the merge requires a lot of testing before it can even happen. The Beacon Chain has been running since December 1st, 2020. It was merged in all of the Ethereum's testing environments, called testnets, to ensure no glitches were left behind and to ensure that Ethereum would continue to run as planned after the merge. In early 2022, it was merged in major testnets, such as Robston, Sepolia and Gorily, before being deployed to Mainnet. Will we see more merges in the near future? The answer to that is no. The merge is a once-in-a-lifetime event specific for Ethereum. So, get ready for it. Oh,